Okay, here we are, um, Sunday evening, half six. We've had uh, had the three races today, and uh, another another tough day. Um, the the first race was uh, was looking quite good. The conditions were very changeable, um, as those that are, have watched will know. And uh, we looked at the two races before, and they um, all opted for wet tyres and. Uh, be going well the track wasn't drying very fast at all so on the grid we decided to go halfway and we, we tried a um, slicks on the front to dry tyres on the front and wets on the rear balance and um, the first lap it, it seemed pretty good it got straight up into second behind that nil it's given him a, a pretty hard time for a couple of laps but the, uh, the sun was already out by then and the track started to dry uh, started to dry very very quickly and uh, and quite quickly he he disappeared off into the distance and the other people that had opted for slicks started hounding me and uh, eventually we, we dropped to, um, I think it was 8th position, um, which was actually not that bad considering it was a good rescue, still got a few points and only then 4 places behind where we originally qualified so we were still looking okay for, for the second race, so, so not, a, not, a bad, not a bad result, um, wrong call. Um, on the tyres, but uh, it was one of those things really we, we got thrown with. Um, on to race two, and uh, what happened in race two? I actually uh, have drawn a blank there. This is uh, getting caught up in the emotion of race three really. Let's go into that one first, race three. Um, starting, uh, starting third, off the grid we were this time for race three and um, looking very good Tom was four we were back up the front of the grid and ready to do it and uh, we very nearly kind of did and uh, those of you that watch will, will know that I got a fantastic start off the line straight up into the lead and uh, and then unfortunately Matt Neil slipped through on, on the first lap and he, he did seem to have a, a little more pace than me and, and pulled out a gap but we were kind of holding our own um, and uh, just about halfway through the race the tyres really started to go off and, and started to struggle a lot with front end grip and traction and, uh, and then Paul O'Neill started to, to pull us in and pull us in and, uh, and eventually he, he slipped through quite easily as well but I think we probably should have, uh, should have ended up um, taking home third place there. On the last lap we were, we were sitting in third pretty comfortable, Kane was catching us but uh, wasn't really that close. And, uh, and unfortunately, I only have myself to blame. I, um, I made a mistake coming in into, uh, into turn two and ran wide and, and let Paul through. And it's, it's hard to deal with. It really is. It's, um, it's frustrating as a, as a driver to, to go through the whole weekend and have that light at the end of the tunnel with, with a, a great podium to take away and, and to actually throw it away yourself. And I, I, I'm, I'm frustrated with with myself and um, upset really and I'm gutted for, for the team for all the effort they put into everything it would have been, it would have been great to come away with a, uh, with a podium um, but it wasn't to be this weekend and, and looking on from this we, we have made some, some great progress again um, we scored points um, in all three races and uh, again that's helped um, haven't scored as many points as we'd, we'd liked but the, the, the promising signs have been there, we've been quick over the weekend, it just hasn't all happened. So we're, we're still happy, we're going to fight on for the next one, it's a short turnaround this one, Brand Tatch is, uh, is next weekend on the GP circuit, so the team have got to turn the, rep, turn the cars around pretty quickly, sort of strip them, check everything and rebuild them back up again and, uh, and I'm heading to the team tomorrow morning for a full debrief and uh, see how we go um, on the setup for the brand hatch. Um, thank you all for watching if you did do and uh, I really appreciate all, all your support. Thank you very much.